one of the main goals of this video is to encourage people to engage with SEPT, uh, be that something as simple as joining a volunteering group now and then, or being someone who's used SEPT services in the past, who knows what's important to someone using those services and sharing that experience. Well, I'm a cancer survivor myself. I was uh, diagnosed in 2010, and once I'd finished the main part of my cancer journey, I decided that I wanted to give back something. The service is affiliated to Macmillan, so I feel it's a way of giving back to an organisation that was an immense support, not just to myself, but to my family as well. Being at home, that wasn't the place. I needed some outlet. So I met Caroline um, due to SEPT. I just get that heartwarming, yes, and that bond. And it's not even just with them, it's with their family members um, and also the staff. So I feel I'm doing someone else the turn, the good turn they've done me, basically. And I feel 100% better for it. The success, um, the recognised success of the project, were it not for our volunteers, they were, they were an intrinsic part of our work. It's as much a social thing as anything, um, getting people involved in their communities as well and getting them their confidence a lot better. And seeing that over the 12 weeks is really quite amazing. Yeah, and I'm looking to do maybe a college course in the future sometime. Well, my wife has dementia. And as a result, I went, we went to, well, I went to courses run by SEPT. And in 2010, I was asked to be a tutor. Oh, uh, me, a tutor? <laughs> for carers' courses. I am grateful with, with the role that I've been given the opportunity as a volunteer tutor because it's helped in my recovery. And also delivering these courses, it's enabled me to give something back, um, the help that I've been given. Uh, this course, Your Health, Your Life, all the tutors are carers in their own right so there is that empathy with the participants. I, at the end of the course I say I've got my life back because we're giving them help in adjusting their life and giving them strategies to improve their well-being so that they can look after themselves better. This year I think I had about five different students um, and it was for an hour to tell them um, about everything that has happened in our lives and how it has changed our lives just to make them understand at a much earlier stage about the life of the carer. It's certainly something I, I sort of believe in because um, I believe student nurses need more than placements and textbooks and things like that because it's very sort of one-sided in, in a way. So if they get more experience and know-how uh, from, from the likes of us, um, then that's certainly something that they can uh, use when they qualify. We like to think that we work alongside the people who use our services, so they're our experts, they're the people who help us. went into a day hospital and it was called the recovery ward, uh, recovery unit and through that I was speaking to some of the um, staff and they said well look you know sort of you've been around this place for quite a long while you know what people are, are wanting at, here at the unit they've got a meeting coming up why don't you go along there and be part of that. I feel working with SEPs benefits the trust because it gives them uh, another point of view a dynamic one which they wouldn't otherwise have um, without it they wouldn't pick up things from service users and former service users in order to change things for the better. I do things from interviews to uh, new members of staff right the way through from the cleaner right up to the chief executive so I've been on those sort of interviews. We do induction days, that's the training of staff when new staff join three of us have got a different story to tell. When I was standing at the ceiling, looking at this, thinking about things, I was basically also experiencing things which I thought this could be done a lot better. It's the wider picture. It's not only me with the uh, cancer, it's the family with it, it's the finances. I let them know how important a smile, their tone of voice, 
whether they're doctors or the car park attendant. And we found, by connecting with PALS, the team there, were able to help us cut through some of the red tape professionally with their help to at least find out what was going on, or at least to know some idea of what the game plan was. One of the things that's really important is uh, that we, you know, we still have things that we can improve on, and I think it's really important uh, for us to learn from the people who use our services. And volunteering and engaging with us is how we do that. You know, that's how we learn and how they can improve the services in their area. I had an experience with SEPT, and I ticked the box. Good experience, bad experience. I just really sort of feel great that you know, sort of I'm able to sort of be part of um, the trust, but still have that service user role, but also still feel not like one of this or them anymore, or them and us, but more like it's just all of us. This has made me feel better, and also has stopped me from going back into hospital. And it's to set. I think the key is if you can get to the right person. Genuinely, the people working there will do their utmost to help, but sometimes the tools for them to do that are not necessarily there. So that's an ongoing uh, program of improvement, and that's where perhaps these conversations as a volunteer can be adding value. I think as a generality, people don't volunteer readily. It's very difficult to find volunteers, and it's almost a direct approach. And SEPT does recognise volunteers, We've had the lunch today. We have a Christmas lunch, a thank you lunch as well, here. So if SEPT say thank you, then you just go on doing it. It really is um, a good thing to get into and don't be scared of doing something new because when you start to do the courses and you learn, you know what you're doing so you don't feel as if you're just standing there babbling. You are giving help and the, you do. People really, really respect and need us. They really do need us. If you would like to know more about working alongside SEPT, we'd love to hear from you. Call the Patient Experience Team on 0800 085 7935 or email pals at sept.nhs.uk. For information on volunteering, contact the volunteering team on 01268 739 600 or you can email business support volunteering at sept.nhs.uk. For more information about any of these services, you can go to our website www.sept.nhs.uk